What's up guys? Welcome to Outdoor Junkies. Today's episode is a review and the thing that we are reviewing today is backpacking tents. Now this backpacking tent here I wanted to do a review on for a couple different reasons. Number one, to give you guys some knowledge and let you guys know what I think of this tent here now. Just to make things clear, I am not a professional backpacker. I am definitely not a through hiker. I love backpacking. I love light gear but I like my comforts as well. I know a big thing right now in the backpacking community is how light we can go. I'm not worried about how light I can go. I'm worried about how much I can personally carry in my backpack. One thing I love to be comfortable on the trail is a great tent. Now I've used this tent about three or four times now. It's a great tent, it's a great tent. This is the North Face Storm Break 2. The high end's 159, the low price is 119. And I got lucky, and you guys can get lucky if you guys go hit up North Face Outlet Stores because they got awesome deals. We've got 60% off this tent. The Storm Break 2 is a two-person's tent. It's a three-seasons tent. And the good thing about this tent, which I like, it has great visibility. When that fly is off, man, your visibility is awesome. And I love camping under the stars. I like having no fly. I like just camping out and enjoying enjoying the stars a couple things i want to go over with this particular tent is how much does it weigh packed and that's a good question it's really not that heavy wait this this tent weighs the way you guys see it here it weighs five pounds 14.2 ounces so you're looking under six pounds i could deal with this really this is really the heaviest thing in my pack and the cool thing is usually when i go backpacking i'm usually with my girl and what we'll do is I'll let her hold on to the fly and the rods and I'll hold on to the tent and the stakes. Oh, with the, t with the stakes mentioned as well, you can lighten up if you go with aluminum stakes versus the, the steel ones that come in this. So just to give you guys a heads up on this. Now, another thing is the trail weight. The trail weight of this is about five pounds, four ounces. So it's really not that bad for what it does. You know, like I said, it's a three seasons tent. It is pretty good in the conditions, to be honest with you. Uh, another thing I want to let you guys know about are the floor dimensions. And that is 87, uh, 87 inches by 50 inches. It's a pretty decent tent. Comfortably two people, one person, you're living like a king. The cool, another cool thing I want to bring up about this tent, it has two doors and it actually has storage spots on each side of the entrance. And you keep all your backpacking gear in the storage space that the tent has. So while you're sleeping, you know, you're not worried about your things getting wet. It's inside, it's on the side of your tent right next to you, which is super cool, which I love. The other dimensions I want to give you guys is the packed size. How big is this product? You know, how tall is it? How wide it is? It's seven inches by 22 inches. Guys, this is a pretty awesome tent. Um, not heavy by my standards. Now, maybe by other, other people's standards, this may be a heavy tent. A lot of these people, you know, I like to keep my comfort. My comfort to me is super important on the trail. Here, let's talk about the positive things about this tent first. The positive thing, guys, this is a very secure tent. I don't care if it's raining, snowing, winds. This tent does not budge. It's a great, great product. The material, everything about this tent screams quality from the rods to the actual tent itself everything between the zippers are very nice so that's pretty that's a great thing about the tent um in the rain it is great but there is one problem with this tent just one and this problem is because of the visibility inside the tent when that fly is off you have a lot of screen in front of you so you can actually see inside right if you're caught in a rainy day and you open up the fly door all that water just drops down and it falls into your tent. I don't know if you guys may have some tricks to that. Maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe there's something I did wrong. That I cannot get over. I do not like that about that tent because what happens is if you're out there and it's raining and then you go up and open your door to get back in your tent and all that water falls down, that means your sleeping pad is getting wet. That means you're gonna have cold spots in your sleeping pad. Um, so just guys keep that in mind. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I do not like that about this product. That is the, really the only downfall. Everything else, overall, the tent is great. 
super light to me once again i'm not a through hiker i am just a, a backpacker who goes out for the weekend and has a great time with his friends his girlfriend you know just enjoying the outdoors so to me uh, another thing as well too guys i know we said the dimensions of this tent is 7 by 22 inches you guys could always take the rods out of the tent out of the package and take the rods and put them on the side of your backpack and stuff um stuff your tent right into your bag so it works pretty well and uh that's really that's really it the one thing i did want to tell you guys um i'm throwing a clip on here when uh, me and my my girlfriend went uh camping uh we went camping at lake hammett and we were in rain we were in wind conditions and it was pretty cold out so for this being a three season tent depending where you live i live in california i would consider this a four season tent so i believe you can use this tent all year round another thing i wanted to mention as well with this tent the venting was pretty good i didn't get too much condensation inside the tent there's a weird spot that always just pops up whenever it's raining on the one corner that's the only place i see some condensation but besides that overall i love this tent i am going to roll a clip of me setting up this tent so you guys make sure you guys tune into this channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell guys do not want to miss the content. I got some awesome fishing stuff coming up next. Stay tuned. And I appreciate all you guys who subscribe to me. If you guys did not subscribe to me, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. I do want to talk a little bit about these poles. These are excellent. Um, I've seen a review on this tent before. And when I seen it at the clearance, I was like, I had to get it. Just their aluminum rods, look how nice. They, they snap together very nicely. I mean, it really does it by itself. And they're super lightweight, which is pretty awesome. I mean, these just fall together. Just, you could tell it's very good quality. Everything about it is super high end and quality is there 100%. First thing we're gonna do, slide this guy over here. And I'll put a couple of these guys on real quick make my life a little easier. And why I snap them in first, because I'm basically setting up like if I was by myself. And uh, this is actually a really good way to do it by yourself, because when you open it, they won't be falling down. You don't have to snap them all in up to you just snap some of them in whatever best way to do it is take your one rod here put it through the hole make sure that stays there then take this end prop it through the hole make sure that stays there now you can kind of work it from this end well, start with this one just like that if you were by yourself super easy to set you're done okay then we'll get into the fly next so we slap the last ones in make sure everything is in there this is here for to make the tent a little more sturdy and give you a little more headspace now this bar goes over some people do it both ways under and over I decided to go over with it And it's that easy, super easy. I love North Face equipment. I love the way they do everything. Right there. Dirty tent. Yeah. That ain't going no place. So there it is. 
North Face Storm Brake 2. Uh, it was the first time you put them together, so I had to kind of figure out little things, but pretty basic, pretty easy. Super great tent.